this happen? How did I blow another marriage? Oh, sweetie, you can't blame yourself. Although you are the common denominator. <laughs> Alan, I'm 40 years old. How am I ever gonna start over again? I know, I know, and, and soon you're gonna be 41. <laughs> Any idea what it's like to try and date when all the men your age are only interested in 25-year-old hard bodies? Well, you can't blame us. <laughs> well, I mean, of course you can't compete hard body to hard body, but you're still a very desirable woman. You think so? Well, of course I do. For your age, you're a very <laughs> Hey, Charlie, I got a question for you. Yeah. The hotel I'm staying in has pay-per-view adult movies. Uh-huh. Whatever happened to pubic hair? <laughs> Gone the way of the dodo bird, my friend. I mean, I can understand it with the ladies, but what's the deal with the fellas? It's like with an ugly house, a little shrubbery helps the curb appeal. I don't have an answer for your head. What about you? You trim the old hedges? Yeah. They're shaped like Disney characters. Two more vodka tonics. Cock a doodle doo. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Allow me to introduce myself, Dr. Herbert Melnick. Ooh, a doctor. Dr. Charlie Harper. <laughs> wow, two doctors. Maybe we should let them examine us. <laughs> In the interest of full disclosure, I should let you know I'm new to the dating world and still have all my original pubic hair. Oh, oh Alan, why did I ever let you go? Well, if I recall, it was something about me sucking the life out of you. Uh, oh, I was wrong. I was so wrong. You're a good man, and I'm never going to let you go again. <laughs> Never? Never. Never ever? Morning. Morning. Herb doing here? He shaved his pubes and passed out in your room. <laughs> you might want to change the blade in your razor. Men, 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 men